What is up guys, I am the one and only Eagle Double T, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing the Xbox 360 to the Xbox One S. So without further ado, let's begin. Round 1, Controller. Now, both of these controllers are widely regarded as some of the best in the video game industry. And it's pretty obvious that the Xbox One controller is just the evolution of the Xbox 360 controller. They're very, they're very similar in design and shape. Now when it comes to comfort, if I had to use one all day, I would go with the Xbox One controller. I think it is just a little bit more comfortable, however, both have a very nice feel to them. When it comes to build quality, the Xbox 360 controller is definitely built a lot better. It uses this nicer, thicker plastic, and it feels like a more well-made controller. I have actually gone through quite a few Xbox One controllers that have just spontaneously fallen apart, like the joysticks or the triggers have stopped working. I haven't really had that problem with the 360 controller. Now when it comes to the buttons and the triggers and all that, um, I'd say everything is better on the Xbox One controller. The triggers have the built-in rumble into them. The joysticks are smoother and just feel nicer. The D-pad is definitely better than the mushy D-pad on the 360 controller. And then the buttons are very good on both controllers. In general, I would say the Xbox One controller is better than the Xbox 360 controller. So it wins round one. Round two, special features. Now, to start this off, the Xbox 360 has a total of four USB ports, or five on some models. And the Xbox One has a total of three USB ports. So even though three USB ports would typically be enough, having those extra couple USB ports is a pretty nice thing. Now, both of these consoles can play DVD movies, which is pretty much their main special feature that they have. However, one really nice thing about the Xbox One is that it can play Blu-ray movies, which is really awesome. So you can watch your DVDs and your Blu-ray on the Xbox One. And if you have an Xbox One S, like I do, you can watch um, Ultra HD 4K movies on the Xbox One S, which is really nice. Now, one other neat thing on the Xbox One that you can do is you can plug your TV box, just plug the HDMI cord into the HDMI in port on the back of the Xbox One, and you can actually just watch TV through your Xbox One instead of having to switch the input on your TV, or even switching out the HDMI cords. Being able to watch Blu-ray movies and DVDs is a pretty awesome thing, so the Xbox One will take round two. Round three, games. Now, both of these consoles have very similar games, such as Grand Theft Auto. It was made for the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One, except it's obviously better on the Xbox One because it has a higher CPU, better graphics, all that good stuff. Um, both these consoles have a very good variety of third-party titles, such as Assassin's Creed, you know, tons of Call of Duty, and both consoles have very similar exclusives. They both have... Halo, Fable, Gears of War, Forza. So overall, these consoles have a very similar variety of games. Now when it comes to games, I'm going to call it a tie because both of these consoles are just so similar in that category. So with a score of 3 to 1, the Xbox One is superior to the Xbox 360. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and comment which console you like better. Thank you so, so much for watching. I am the one and only Eagle Double T signing off. Goodbye.